Do you like a quick re-summary when you start? E. It's not letting me change windows. Alright, so... Natalie had went and spoken to Jason, uh, beginning to explain that they had... Well, go ahead. Your words are better than mine. Yeah. Uh, she had essentially begun a what's going to be a three-part apology in terms of like how like they have like things and how they've been haven't been fair on him and it's not okay. Uh, and she just got, got done with the first part and was just starting on the second. Alright. Go ahead. The amount of times, as I said, where you just had to sit and wait for us. And it's just. I can't imagine what that was like. Not only how stressful, but also at times how fucking. Like, just, in all, on all fronts, soul-crushing. And for us not to, like, think about that, or include you in our efforts, or just... And she, like, trails off and, like, seems to shrink into herself as she says this forget about you and I know that's something I never wanted to do something I never aimed to do with anyone but I did I did and you didn't deserve that and I'm sorry And the fact that you've just been quietly putting up with it throughout. Dude, you're a fucking saint. Ah, you... Sincerely. And that puts me on third. You're cutting out a little bit. Oh, sorry. And that leads me on to the You do need to start including you more. Because not only is it, would it be fair on you but it would also be a case of you've got this more to contribute than just being the guy waiting for his back home by the way and, I, and I'm figuring out or at least I'm in the middle of figuring out a way that you can do that. So if you'd like, you can hear me out. Plan a little bit. But if you don't want to, or if you just want to get up and leave right now, <laughs> Honestly, wouldn't blame you. Considering how shitty of a friend I've been. Well, I mean, 
I could get up and leave even if I wanted to. You know what I mean. You haven't. You guys put up with so much. You putting your lives on the line every day for the good of the people. I mean, that's that's the kind of stories they tell in books of just selfless, kind, amazing people. And I wondered why I was here among you guys. You know. Just it was like Being the guy who carries the golf clubs. Well, first of all. If anyone is selfless and brave and kind around here, it's you, my dude. And second of all, what is the fucking point of risking your life to protect even one person, much less a group of people? If you can't deal with that person as the person that they are, you know? Guess so. I just don't want to hold you guys down. You so much you gotta do already. And you can't go and tell me I'm not holding you down. I can't see, I can't walk. That's why I wanted to talk it over with you. Because... Unfortunately, and I know it's out of your hands. And if it were in your hands, you would have it the other way, but... You can't go to, go to the, at least the physical lengths we do. But that's not all you can do. And you've so much more to give than that. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Because I've got an idea. What can I do? If there's any way I can help, I'd love to know. We need to approach Henderson about it first. Before it would get properly implemented. But. My thinking is. I would like, I would very much consider it an honor, actually, if you much more directly helped us with parlaying with Julia. Julia? Yeah. How? You want me to talk to her? You to talk to her. You to help us talk to her. I want you to do what you can. 
I want you to be able to do what you can. Because my thinking is you and her have had similar experiences. Not only that, she's spent time with you, however briefly. So she knows what you're like. Mm. she knows to some degree at least what you're about that and <laughs> come on dude you're you're a heart for a reason you know you you're good at figuring people out because the more I, the more we learn about what happened to her the more at least i'm starting to realize that even if we deal with finnegan even if we somehow get her out of his thrall and all that sort of thing we're not going to be able to get to the root of what caused her to go down that road. And if you want, it's totally up to you. It's why I'm asking. If you want, you can help us with that. I mean, it's a time. It's not even really a question. I'll do it. Okay. Anything I can do to help. Okay. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear it. This isn't a guaranteed plan. Mine, because again, we... I would like to talk to Anderson about it, because... Like it or not... The matter concerns him personally. <laughs> but if it does go ahead, again, I feel like you could help so much just by being there. Because, I mean, <laughs> Without you, we never would have been able to figure out Cheney was lying. Without you, we wouldn't have been able to start peeling back the facade of what was really going on around here. We just haven't been thoughtful in... how you can contribute to the team because you can you know you can I know you can but we need to find the right avenue and I'm hoping this is the right one because I don't want there to be another month or however the fuck long where you're just sat alone, waiting and feeling like you can't do something I, I don't want that for any of us, but least of all you because you've been through it enough times I don't want to put you through it in, again You're my friend and I, I care about you I don't want to keep making the same mistake That was the wrong roll. There we go. 
happy. Gives a very weak smile. You're gonna make me cry here, chick. <laughs> I'm not trying to. I'm just being honest. And saying what and saying what should be should have been said a long time ago, to be honest. Yeah, I guess. But all the same, it shouldn't have been late. I'm sorry that it was. It's okay. I can never hold anything up against you guys. (laughs) You're too pure, Jason, you know that? (laughs) Yeah, you kind of are. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of spiteful a little bit, so I, so if I was in your position, I would have been tempted to hold it, but you, you're just... <laughs> you like filtered water that someone put a single jalapeno you in. Not a jalapeno, more just like... <laughs> They they took a single grain of sand and just put it at the bottom. <laughs> this is cruel. <laughs> Very cruel. So it's I mean, a case hey, of... That's where you get your grit from. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Smiles. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. <laughs> what? <laughs> You absolutely hideous creature never change. (laughs) (laughs) I'll do what I can. (laughs) Also, as an addendum to that, in lieu of me being not only being fair to you on that level but also just straight up being fair to you as a friend um I don't know if it'll be open but like Mm -hmm. we haven't really properly hung out before so if you want, at some point, like this week, do you want to go for coffee? Yes, definitely. <laughs> cool. Because we did. Because we have not hung out enough. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I'm glad. When uh, is there a specific time or just whenever? I mean, I- I'd have to check my itinerary. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure you've got a schedule of some kind, but uh, <laughs> when when whenever you're ready, I guess. Um, if there's no mission, maybe tomorrow. Okay. Should we go for... I don't know, what time do you get up? <laughs> uh... I don't know. Uh... <laughs> tell you what, um... When you're downstairs and ready, I'll uh, give you a poke. You know? <laughs> Smells today. Thumbs up. <laughs> also, like, he reaches down and grabs Bestet's little legs and wiggles them about. Has <laughs> Bestet just been there the whole time? Oh, yeah. Oh. Bestet's been chilling in his lap. Like a cat. <laughs> Natalie did not notice this. <laughs> did you realize now that... Jason has slipped Bastet upside down, revealing her claws. 
<laughs> and belly mouth. Um, oh no. And he's playing with her <laughs> How did little, that get there? Um, and he's playing with her little hands. <laughs> that I, I did not notice that Pasta had a belly mouth a what? before. Um, <laughs> you, you blink and it's gone. Uh, <laughs> Master, please <laughs> don't do this to me. Have you had the craving for bagels recently? Uh, no. It's just me, I guess. Oh. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just really, really insane craving. We should get bagels tomorrow. Bagels and coffee. If they do them. Cool. Thanks for stopping by, Natalie. Thanks for listening. I mean, you didn't have to. Yeah. yeah, but I should use my strengths where I have them, right? He gives a smile. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Also, uh, if there's anything, if there's anything you're needing in here, give me a shout. In here? Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, uh... Oh, I... I, Sorry, I assumed you, um... You knew where you were. Uh, no, uh, you're in the library. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just... I'm just hanging out. There's a good... Good ray of sunshine right in here. Uh. (laughs) Ah. He just kind of... Slightly adjusts his wheelchair. Keeping like a cat, you know? Yeah, I get you. Um, I wonder, and she <laughs> heads on over to the ray of sunshine. Do you feel, and she puts up uh, a, um, a hand with, uh, with the thumbs linked and like the fingers like wafting in rhythm. <laughs> Do you feel my shadow puppets? quiet for a bit. Seems to really be focusing. I don't think I do. Oh. That would have been awesome. I imagine if they were there for a while, maybe. (laughs) We can test this theory. (laughs) Now, how long are you planning on making shadow puppets? Uh, I don't know. (laughs) I, uh... How deep does the dedication run? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I don't know. Is it worth the sacrifice? Uh, <laughs> I can't con- conduct a conclusive study today. <laughs> um... I'll be I'll be back though, Mister. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait for it. <laughs> don't don't let in here all the time though. Like, please, like, use hygiene. Oh, did Sal just yelled at me for that one? You should have seen my hobo beard. Matt, in, Matt will inspect the Jason to see how well he has been groomed. He raises his that. chin in pride. He he is well shaved and he's all clean. Nice. And she'll clap him on the shoulder. <laughs> he he a, does a big smile. Do 
글씨요. Given everything that's happened, I, uh... I get it. I, I, I need things to do. You know? No, I, I get it. So I think if you don't... Like, if you don't mind, that is, I'll... Stay here, do some research, keep you company for a while, you know? If you don't, that, that'll be good. Research for the carrots. Probably also other conversations, but hello, Vastat. <laughs> you, you research, and it, it's mostly quiet. One thing um, Nat notices is that Jason has definitely learned to be okay with the silence. But you notice every now and then, whenever you turn a page, then he's just kind of leaning back in his wheelchair. He'll smile a bit. Enough. And daddy's where we will end our pee. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>